What's going on guys? Welcome back to a, another video. So, here I'm actually going to show you guys this. This is kind of cool. So this is the extra room that we've been adding on to our house. Kind of irrelevant to what the video is about, but I just thought I'd show you. It's coming along pretty cool. And once it's done, uh, I can do like another walk around video of me kind of showing you around it. But we're staining all this. This actually used to be a carport, which was pretty cool. We ended up closing it in. We put in uh, like these tile floors that look like uh, wood. And uh, we're going around staining all this and kind of enclosing it so we can put all our hunting stuff in it. We have a cabinet here and we may switch this out actually for uh, like a wooden sort of shelving for all our hunting gear because we have it just laying around everywhere. We have totes and stuff that we use to take on trips and don't really have a spot for it. So this is kind of what that uh, room's gonna be for. So it's kind of cool. This is actually the picture I took um, a while back, spring turkey season, and it won me this competition for the best turkey picture, which is pretty cool. Ended up taking it with my GoPro. We'll jump right into this video. I had an idea. Um, I was working out and I don't know, it just popped into my head. Cooking fish in a microwave. And I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like, I guess fish sticks and stuff, they're already pre-cooked and you kind of warm them up in the microwave. I don't know, I thought I'd give it a shot. I have catfish from uh, a fish that I caught this summer. I'll insert a picture right here. I just thought I'd give it a try and uh, just see how it tastes. And uh, I guess, Try to figure it out if it's good or not. I, I have no idea. We'll just see how it tastes and uh, go from there. I'm gonna do like one piece and uh, we'll just jump right into it, put seasoning on it and uh, see how it tastes. Okay, this is gonna be the catfish filet that we're using. It's not giant or anything, but it'll give us enough of a, a taste test to kind of see if it's good or not. I don't wanna waste a ton if it tastes like junk. But this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab the Old Faithful. Kicking chicken. Everything's good with kicking chicken. So I'll probably just do it for like a minute and pull it out, see if it looks like it's somewhat done. I'll cut into it. And then if it does need more, we'll put it back in. I, I really, I have absolutely no idea how this is going to taste, to be honest. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of seasoning over top. It's enough so if it does taste bad, it won't taste as bad, I guess. We'll just take it over to the microwave and toss it right in here. So we'll just put it in for a minute just to start out and uh, just see. I don't know if the fish is going to like pop, like explode or anything crazy. We'll go for a minute and if it needs to be cooked longer, then we'll put it in for another minute and uh, just try to figure it out. It's sizzling like crazy. It shrunk so much. Okay, this is after a minute. I mean, it looks like cooked fish. It really does. And I'm guessing it is cooked. It doesn't smell bad. So it's seriously, like, it doesn't smell bad at all. Like, like, it's not, it does not smell bad at all. And it's shrunk a ton. I'm actually gonna probably put it in for just a little bit longer, just to be safe. So, I'll do it for another, uh, we'll do another 30 seconds and uh, I'll give it a try. Uh, this is, I don't know. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. It's one of those things where you get in your head and you're like, what the heck, let's just try it. So, that's what we're doing. Alright. This is going to be the final, the final test. So, I guess this is it. Oh gosh. I don't know how good this is going to be. It doesn't really look that appetizing at all. It doesn't look bad. It just like a, looks like a dried up piece of fish. Okay, final result. Like, it really... I mean, it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look that appetizing. It looks like a shrunk up piece of fish that you put in the microwave. That's about it. And that's exactly what it is. But, give it a try. It's really tough. It looks like catfish beef jerky or something. And it may be better with like other fish, but there's first bite. Let's give it a try. 
I mean, it's definitely cooked. You know, it's really not that bad. It's not bad at all. I will say it's dry. I'm not big on a dry fish. I don't know if anybody's big on dry fish. The seasoning's good. That's a plus. But let's see if we can get that texture in there. There we go. So that's like the texture of it. I mean, kind of looks like fish beef jerky. The taste is not bad. It's definitely cooked. So, I mean, with another fish, maybe it'd be a lot better. But it's not awful. It's really not awful. So yeah, if you want to see more wild game cooking videos in the microwave, no, I'm probably not doing this again. It wasn't terrible, but it's not a repeat. I can finish it, but not my favorite at all. But there you go. Plate scum. I like fried catfish, baked catfish, but microwave catfish, uh, no go for me. So if you enjoy these videos, like catch and cook videos, hunting videos, anything like that, leave it in the comments, leave a like, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.